I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to this special video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to take you to the house of the living God. It is so good to be with you today. It is indeed another day that God has given us by His grace and by His special and His wonderful grace. We will press on and we will keep on going. I encourage you, my dear friend, don't give up, don't give in, but press on. Press on in the grace of God. Press on in the presence of God. Press on in the things of God. Don't be discouraged and don't be dismayed. Even in this season, press on and receive what God has for you. Today I'm going to speak about how good sleep comes from the Lord. And I'm going to pray for you so that you will have good sleep from this point onwards. It's going to be more deliverance prayers so that you can be set free from any evil that is disturbing your sleep. Now I want to start by reading from the book of Psalms chapter 4 verse 8. It says, I will both lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. I want to read this to you one more time and then let's discuss it. It says, I will both lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. My dear friend, there are many challenges and many troubles that we can face. Most of the time, people lose sleep because of anxiety and fear. Anxiety and fear concerning the future. Anxiety and fear concerning certain situations that they're going through. Anxiety and fear concerning what the future will bring. Anxiety and fear concerning some of the dangers in the environment. It can be crime. It can be accidents happening. It can be certain things happening. It can even be things like losing certain relationships. And because of that, they are not able to sleep. But this scripture says, in the book of Psalms chapter 4 verse 8, it says, I will both lie down in peace and sleep. Notice it talks about peace and notice it talks about sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. So we should find our rest and our comfort in God. We should find the divine ability to sleep and enjoy good rest in the fact that God will deliver us. You know, if you know that God is going to deliver you, if you know that God is going to fight for you, there is no need to be anxious. There is no need to be afraid. If you know that God will deliver you from whatever situation you might be facing or whatever enemy might be coming up against you, there is no need to lose sleep over it. It says, I will both lie down in peace, peace because we trust in God, and because we trust in God, we know that God will deliver us. And therefore, we can enjoy His peace even in the midst of times that would cause fear to other people. And sleep. Rest and sleep is so important. It's important for our body, it's important for our mind, it's important so that we can function to the full potential that Christ has invested in us. For God alone makes us dwell in safety. My dear friend, I want to encourage you today that God makes you dwell in safety. And if you have prayed, if you have given it to the Lord in prayer, there is no need to be afraid. There is no need to be anxious. There is no need to lose sleep over it because God will take care of you, because God will deliver you, because God will see you through. Today we're going to pray special prayers and I trust, know and believe God is going to give you peace and He's going to give you relief from any anxiety and fear. Anxiety and fear that you might have regarding any situation that's causing you to lose sleep. Furthermore, we're going to pray if there is any demonic attack that's coming up against your life and specifically the enemy is trying to cause you to lose sleep, trying to cause you to have bad dreams, trying to cause you to be afraid to sleep because he wants you drained, God will deliver you, God will set you free and God will see you through. He'll give you good rest and good sleep so that you can go on. I encourage you, if you can, play this many times until you're able to sleep and have peace and enjoy the grace of God in Christ. Because through the grace of God, God will protect you and God will deliver you. In saying that, let's go into a time of prayer. Take yourself or your device wherever you're watching me from. 
Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, begin to lift up praises to God. Begin to praise Him in your own words. Father, we just praise You and we thank You for Your grace. We thank You for Your mercy. We thank You for Your love that never runs out on us. And even today, Your love is present. Your love is available to all of us who believe. We give You praise and thank You for the miracle that You're going to do today in my dear friend's life. And my dear friend will never be the same again. We give You praise and thank You for the full and finished work of the cross the full and finished work that brought us back to you, that brought grace in the picture, the full and finished work of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for sending your son, Jesus, to come and die for us, to restore us back to you, so that we could have a chance, a chance at salvation, a chance to walk in our purpose and destiny, a chance to make you happy, a chance to enjoy blessing after blessing, and a chance to experience deliverance. Deliverance from all those things that affect us and hold us back. We give you praise and thank you that even today you're going to do a miracle in my dear friend's life. You're going to touch, you're going to change, and you're going to take my dear friend, your dear son, my dear friend, your dear daughter to a greater glory and a greater level. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and I want to encourage you. Be expectant, have faith, believe and you will receive. It is so important that we believe and we trust God and God will see us through. Now we're going to go into a time of prayer as we begin to pray. I want to encourage you to do three things. The first and the most important is just welcome the Holy Spirit. Say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit and take over control. Help me to pray. Help me to press in and help me to receive from the Father today. Help me to receive good sleep. I pray this in Jesus name. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The third thing, if you've got a prayer request and you want me to pray with you and for you, simply go to my website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and fill in your prayer request, click submit. It will come through to us and we're going to trust God with you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I just pray for my dear friend. Even right now, Begin to touch, my dear friend. Begin to heal, my dear friend. Begin to deliver, my dear friend, from all forms of anxiety and fear, regardless of their cause. Give, my dear friend, the grace to trust and to rest in you and to find comfort and rest for their soul. Father, as I pray today, I'm asking you to deliver, my dear friend, from every form of demonic attack that is aimed at robbing the sleep of my dear friend. If my dear friend has been battling to sleep, battling to get good night rest, I pray that you will deliver my dear friend from all forms of demonic attack and all forms of evil that are affecting and disturbing the sleep of my dear friend, so that my dear friend may be free and my dear friend may be well rested and have peace. I pray that you will release the grace even today and the divine enablement through the power of your spirit that my dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter, will be able to believe and trust you and through that receive their peace, their peace and their rest in you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. My dear friend, I bless you. May you experience the peace of God and may you get good rest wherever you've been struggling to sleep and because of that you're very tired. May God give you rest. May God give you rest and divine energy so that you will keep on going, you will succeed and you will make it. And at night, may you be able to lie down and sleep in peace because you find your safety in God. If you have any family members who are having the same problem, they are unable to sleep, may they be able to lie down and sleep in peace, knowing that God alone provides their safety. I decree and declare this in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Until tomorrow, my dear friend, for myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. And saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.